The genre of mystery novels is a young form of literature that has developed since the early 19th century. The rise of literacy began the years of the English Renaissance, and as people began to read over time, they became more idealistic in their thinking, they developed a respect for human reason and the ability to solve problems. As the city started to crowd in the 1800s, the need of police forces and detectives began to grow, and because of that the detectives were born, and so the mystery novel arose. An early work of modern mystery fiction was The Astralian Bonus Gallery by E.T.A. Hoffman. This work was an influence for many writers like Edgar Allan Poe and Alfred Conan Doyle. These novels are singularly res responsible for the huge popularity in this genre. The mystery genre is a type of fiction in which a detective or other professional solves a crime or a series of crime. It can take the form of a novel or a short story. This genre may also be called detective or crime novels. The purpose of a mystery novel is to solve a puzzle and to create a feeling of resolution with the audience. There are many subgenres in the mystery novels, but the most important ones are the following. The romantic suspense. This is a new mystery subgenre which consists in a police heroine most of the time. It is a mixed romance style and police procedure. In this, the main character enjoys a good personal relationship, for example, the present novels. Well, in the investigator type, one of the fundamental elements has to do with the method, where the clues and the resolution of the case are taken from a logical point of view. Therefore, the elements that capture the reader's attention have to see how we are also collecting these clues and doing the same process as the leading character. This could be a private investigator or a detective who try to resolve this issue in question. True Crime Before the investigation ID channel, we had to read non-fiction accounts of notorious murders. Truman Capote set the literary bar with In Cold Blood. Anne Rue is also a long-time master of the channel. In the case of the police narrative, his name indicates it. There is given relevance to the theme of the protagonist character and also giving an account of his leading abilities in terms of the resolution. The last one is a supernatural mystery. In this genre there are mi mystery elements, but the area that dominates is the fantasy, featuring a lot of elements of this genre, like a ghost. It is a mystery subgenre and not only supernatural because there are still elements of this genre. The mystery genre has a variety of elements, but the most essential are the following. First of all, the settings, which is the location of the action. An author should describe the environment or surroundings of the mystery in such detail that the reader feels that he can picture the scene. Unusual settings can be interesting, but everyday settings can help a reader to better visualize the story. Then, the plot. This is the actual story around which the entire book is based. A plot should have a very clear beginning, middle and end, with all the necessary descriptions and suspense, so the reader can make sense of the action and follow along from start to finish. Problem. Every mystery is a problem to solve. Usually, who committed a crime and why? Authors should fill mystery stories with clues so that the reader can try to solve the puzzle along with the characters. Sometimes an author may insert a false clue just to throw the character and reader off. Solution The solution of the problem is the way the action is resolved. Finding a missing item or the person who stole it. For example, it is important that the solution be believable. Authors must be sure to include all the clues necessary for finding the solution in the story somewhere. Ken Follett was born the 5th of June of 1949 in Cardiff, Wales. He studied on the University College in London, where he graduated in 1970. When he started writing, he wrote his novels under the pseudonym Simon Miles, including his first two books. 
That was before he put his real name on the mystery hideout in 1976. Later, he found critical, critical and commercial success with the spy thriller of The Needle. It sold more than 10 million copies and won the prestigious Edgar Award from the Mr. Rogers of America. This book was later made into a movie. Over the years, Fowler has explored other genres, including nonfiction, and he's also tackled a variety of time periods. His later sequel of books was The Pillars of the Earth. Graham Greene was born on the 2nd of October in 1904 in Berkhamsted, England. When he was young, he began suffering from mental and emotional problems, and so his parents sent him to London for psychotherapy, where he developed his love for literature and began to write poetry. In 1926, he began his professional writing career as an unpaid apprentice for the Nottingham Journal and then moved to the London Times. His experience here was a positive one, and after some years, he published his first novel, The Man Within. His next works were not well received by critics, but Green regained their respect with the first book he classed as an entertainment piece, called the Istanbul Training. It was published in 1932 in the United States as Orient Express. In 1990, Green was stricken with an unspecified blood disease. He lingered until the beginning of spring and then died on the 3rd of April of 1991 in Switzerland. Well, um, as you know, all mystery novels have uh, a special kind of vocabulary that is used normally in every in every piece of work of the mystery genre. For example, uh, the word um, sleuth, that means uh, it's like a synonym for detective, and it's the most important person who uh, has to follow a lead and investigate um, a crime or a theft or a crime in general. Aliens is another word for clue, facts or objects that help to solve the mystery. For example, the revolver that is used by Mrs. Havering at Hunter's Lodge. Victim, the person who is harmed because of the crime. For example, the cook of the adventure of the Clapham Cook novel. Suspect, a person who possibly committed the crime. For example, the black bearded man in the Hunter's Lodge novel. Motive, reason why someone would want to commit a crime. For example, in Hunter's Lodge, the motive was to get money. Red herring. A clue that leads the detective in the wrong direction. For example, the black bearded man in the Hunter's Lodge novel. Witness. Someone who saw the crime being committed. For example, the cook of the adventure of the Clapham Cook novel. Alibi. Proof that suspect did not commit the crime. For example, Mrs. Mr. Todd from the adventure of the Clapham Cook novel. Concerning the tip-offs, um, I think one of the most important ones is the red herrings. Um, because it's the, it's like the evidence and you have to follow it and I don't know if you've seen that uh, there are different kinds of approaching um, a crime um, novel or a mystery novel because for example some of them start when you only have uh, the crime and you don't, you don't know who committed it so you have to follow the leads until you get to that Mystery to be solved. In the mystery genre, all the novels need to have a crime that is presented to a detective to be solved during the novel. Main character. It needs to be a detective who has special capacities, like high intellectual qualities. For example, Sherlock Holmes. Over clues presented. Evidence that proves or not the detective theories. Suspense. Is the growing interest and excitement readers while awaiting a climax or resolution in a work of literature? Interest in mystery fiction continues to this day because of various television shows which have used mystery themes and the many juveniles and adult novels which continue to be published. Always out on your own.